and it offers around 1.2 fucking crores i already started so seeing some dreams that i'll go to dubai and earn this much like you can't just go to their website and apply to their career portal because and in each round they'll focus on three things first is your resume definitely like they will ask some classical famous problems hey everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about my interview experience at by dance ByteDance is parent company of TikTok like Alphabet is for Google and it offers around 1.2 fucking crores. Yes, you heard it right, 1.2 crores per year and there's nothing hidden. Like you can cash it out and you'll get around 12 lakhs per month. And that too in Dubai where there's no tax. Okay, so 12 lakhs per month without any tax. So as soon as I heard the offer, I was already very excited and I already started so seeing some dreams that I'll go to Dubai and earn this much. So the first thing that comes up is like, how did I even apply? Okay, so it becomes a bit tricky. Like you can't just go to their website and apply to their career portal because it's a Chinese website. You will not be able to access it. Uh, so either you have to have a VPN or secondly, you have to reach out a recruiter. So I reached out a recruiter and they kind of liked my resume and said that, you know, let's have an initial call with the recruiter itself where they'll discuss about uh, my package and everything. So they scheduled a 30 minute call. In this 30 minute call, the first thing that we discussed was like, uh, do I have a passport? Do I have a visa and everything? So she told me that I don't need to worry of for any of this and they'll manage everything. Then second thing that was asked was like, what is my current CDC? I told them it's, you know, uh, this much. And the reply was like, Sahil, you don't need to worry. We offer much more in Dubai. So you'll be quite happy with whatever we offer. So I already knew that, you know, they offer a lot. Then third thing was like, uh, what were the different rounds? So she told me that there will be three coding rounds. I tried to ask, ask her like, what will be the three coding rounds? But uh, I don't think they disclose it. So for that, like I am here. So I will tell you like, what are the different rounds they have? And also if you go to lead code discuss and all, you will not find a lot of experiences. But since it, it was like a 1.2 crore package on stake, so I did a lot of research. I reached out to folks on Reddit and uh, also on blind. So they shared some experiences, which I'll share. So do watch the video till last. And also don't forget to subscribe the channel. So all three rounds that I mentioned, the coding rounds will be same. Okay. And in each round, they'll focus on three things. First is your resume. They'll try to identify like how much have you exaggerated. Second thing is like HLD uh, question. So either they'll ask you a specific HLD question or they'll ask you HLD concepts. And third thing that they focus is on one DS question. Now let's just go ahead and see like what did they ask me in my first round. So in the first round, there was a Chinese interviewer, uh, which first took my intro and all. And then he picked up my resume and asked the first thing that Sahil, you mentioned about uh, creative and APIs and everything that you work with. So can you tell me like, how do you handle item potent request? Okay. So I knew like what is item potent request, like when there are multiple same requests. Uh, so there should not be side effect of uh, those duplicate requests. So he asked me like, how do you handle it? So, but the problem was I never uh, saw in my system, like how do we handle it? So I just came with with a guess that, you know, we just send a key from client side and on the back end, we try to identify if the similar key is already uh, in process. So we will not process the existing key. Okay. So then he asked me like, what about the concurrent request? What if the duplicate requests are concurrent as well? So this is where I became very shaky. Since I was already guessing, like, I didn't know that my client key answer was correct or not. So I was not sure. So I told him that, you know, I'm not very sure over here. So this was a big red flag that I already gave him in the starting of the interview. Then he moved forward and he asked me about uh, database replication and all. Okay, there were few questions like, uh, do you uh, kind of do database replication? How many copies do you maintain? How do you sync them and some generic concepts and uh, generic questions which you will uh, when you read about database replication you will go through them then he asked another thing that was uh, mentioned in my resume 
was monolith versus microservices so he asked me like why did you migrate what were the advantages again another like very basic and generic question so till now the round was going okay like i definitely like fucked up in the first thing but now uh, he started asking me about consensus algorithm so i knew the basics of it like why do we use it when we have multiple nodes in the network then you know uh, to make them nodes in the sync like we need some algorithm that is called consensus algorithm so he asked me like uh, can you give example of that so i knew the example like pexos but the follow up question was how it works and unfortunately like i never read about it and i never used it so i knew that you know again like this is the second red flag i've already given him so i told him that you know i've never worked with it and i am not sure how it works so this is where you know uh, my round started going down then like almost 25 minutes were over with this theory then he told me that you know sai let's move on with the ds round so i had to kind of make sure in my mind it was there that you know i have to perform well in ds so the question that was given was lr you cash and i was quite happy i i had done it multiple times but the main thing he mentioned over there was not to use existing data structures like linked list okay so basically i had to create my own linked list and i had like 30 minutes after explaining him the approach and all so i coded everything i ran the code and there was a segmentation fault so segmentation faults are always tricky to identify and that's where i got stuck i tried to identify it took 5 to 10 minutes the interview was already exceeded by 5 minutes and and surprisingly i found like uh, i have not you know initialized the linked list in constructor of uh, the lru cache class i had made so i did that and to my surprise there was no other issue and code run flawlessly okay so the round uh, after the round i felt like the round went okay like i performed well in ds according to me like within one go everything worked was a positive sign but at the same time i don't think i performed very well in hld then the result of interview came and uh, the recruiter told me that we cannot proceed further uh, and i was kind of very disappointed because my dream of 1.2 crore package broke but the thing is i don't want you guys to mess it up and for the same thing i uh, have some interview experiences and some pattern which i identified which they you know kind of follow for both ds and hld so let's just see like what was asked to the person i talked to on blind he got selected in this first round he was again asked to you know or describe his project and resume a discussion and second he was asked uh, url shortener as hld problem and then coding question was decode ways okay in his second round again same thing like describe your project and all then he was asked to design twitter and thirdly he was asked to solve regular expression matching question okay then the third round again similar pattern like describe your project and all design youtube and finally lru cash that was asked to me as well so one thing to observe here uh, is ds questions okay i also saw some questions on lead code discuss and also the problems that were tagged for by dance definitely like they will ask some classical famous problems okay decode ways lru cash lfu cash whatever they have asked till now is a classical famous problem so if you just go to lead code and do top 50 problems of dp and uh, graph you will definitely be able to solve the ds question and it will not be an hurdle okay now second thing that i observed for hld was if you solve like the 10 grokking questions okay all of their hld questions are from them nothing new so again that's not a hurdle so i think if you have done three things like if brushed up your resume second you have prepared well for hld from grokking and third thing is if you have done all classical problems all these classical problems are something if you like you know uh, for ds if you just go and try to solve it and are new to you you will not be able to solve it like regular expression matching itself have a lot of test cases then lru cache is also not easy if you have not you know prepared it earlier so uh, just do all of this and i am pretty sure you will be able to clear it the difficulty of round is not like which we have in other startups in india like uh, uber rubric and all 
it's much easier and i hope if you're giving the round all the best to you you will be able to clear it and uh, i'll also try again and i'll update if you know i clear it and if you have watched the video till here do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and thank you